loves, I hope you had a splendid holiday and we are now officially coming to the end of 2020. So for the new year, I have come up with some homemakers resolutions and I wanted to share with you 10 resolutions that you can make as well to keep your home clean and organized for 2021. Now, making resolutions with the same old habits is really not going to work for 2021. So I'm going to share with you two completely new systems that have been working for us as a family, which I hope will inspire you to be the homemaker you aspire to be. I also want to say that this video is sponsored by Skillshare, and we will talk a little more about them later in the video. Now let's begin with tip one. My very first and perpetual tip is to always have a place for everything and to keep everything in its place. I cannot emphasize this enough. If every item in your home has a designated and intentional spot where it belongs, it's a time saver and a complete game changer for a lot of people. And you can be as specific as you need to be in order for this to work for you. For example, having a cutlery in a designated cutlery drawer would be step one. But in order to keep it really organized, you might need to add a divider for your forks and spoons and knives and even for chopsticks. Now, this sort of instant knowing of where something is, is what we are aiming towards. And that is not possible unless you make tip two a habit as well. Now, tip two is the good old tried and tested, put it away. Whatever you use, put it away immediately after and don't just put it aside. Now, putting it down, just that one item will lead to two and then three and then a pile up, which will eventually manifest into clutter and you're going to have created a new hotspot. Out of my own experience, I can say that things that are not put away in the designated spot often get put into the wrong cabinet or shelf, which later leads to stress. And for that reason, putting things away immediately is a big plus. Now, this saves you so much time and energy as well. The family can find things for themselves, always knowing where to look, or if necessary, you can tell them exactly where to look. And when it comes to cleaning up and putting it away, you know where it goes, so there's no wondering where it should be kept. This is also known as the one-touch rule. Now, another tip here for your kitchen is to clean as you cook. And for your dresser is to put cosmetics away immediately after use. You get the picture. And believe me, this will make a huge difference. Now moving on to another tip is to have stations. Create areas for different purposes, keeping them separate and yet strategically connected or located. For example, the kitchen. Have different areas for different tasks. Have a cooking area with all your cooking needs, including spices and sauces a baking station with all your pans, a prepping area. This makes it so much easier to get things done faster. Tip four is to use a planner. It's crucial to have a space, whether digital or written, where you can put down all your ideas and your events, chores and errands for the day or for the week and even for the month. It's amazing how much brain space you can save when you write all these things down. You can use your mind to truly achieve these goals. Things that you might track may include school or work-related tasks, meal planning, errand and house chores, and even ideas that you may have. You can definitely have different planners on different platforms, but essentially, you need to keep track of your responsibilities. I will, of course, shamelessly recommend the Home Management Planner 2021 to help you keep up with the cleaning and to remain organized. It includes many of the things mentioned in this video and using this planner has personally helped me cut down on the number of different notebooks and inserts I need. You can check out the full video of this planner in the link in the description box below. Tip five. Now this leads me to my next tip, which is to use a zoning system. Subdividing your home into smaller sections will make it easier to clean in an efficient, balanced and systematic way ensuring that you are doing each area as regularly as needed, not more, not less. The Home Management Planner has actually done all this planning for you, so you can focus your energy just on the to-dos. The planner breaks down your home into six rather intuitive zones, 
which I each tackled separately each day of the week. I actually did a couple of cleaning videos this year following the 2020 planner system, so you can see just how easy it is to work on a couple of spaces at a time. Do let me know if you want me to do more clean with me's next year as well in the comments below. Now the next tip is to build routines. Routines start with habits, so create some good habits. This one may sound obvious, but routines can really help you stay organized and productive. I personally love my morning routine, which helps me set the tone for the rest of my day. And I also have a free printable on my site, which gives you a suggested flow of daily housework. Again, I will leave you the link in the description box. Now you can also create a customized one so you know each day caters to your needs. Work out a routine that works for you and your family. Knowing what you will be doing in the morning, what your afternoons are dedicated to, and the evening and night routines help you be productive, remain focused, and then sleep better knowing that you will wake up to an organized home. Tip 7 is all about meal planning. Creating a menu for the week or the month ahead takes the stress off cooking. We all know that. But with menu planning, you know what to buy, what to prep. But the menu planning itself is the hard part. The universal complaint has always been what to cook. Now, I have earlier on uploaded a free printable for Meal Sparkers, and this is version 2.1 of that. In an earlier video, I mentioned that I have a new system that my family is loving. The variety is amazing and the system is so simple. I hope you're going to love it just as much as we do. Now for this system, I have made a list of all the ingredients we make and like. There is nothing you should or shouldn't add. Make a list that is appetizing to you and your family. Then create a second list of all the cooking styles or cuisines that you like or you would like to try out. Now draw or print a circle with all your favorite ingredients and the smaller one for all the cuisines. I have laminated mine and using a split pin, I have created an amazing tool for meal planning. I call it the Wheel of Meal Mercy. Pick up any combo you want and let's start from there. As you can see, this has given me 10 options for the week, which are listed here. Next, I choose a dish based on the category. The options are again endless. From that point, I just build a full menu for the meal. It has made it so simple because I'm no longer limited to what I know and repeatedly cook. But by using the keywords, it allows me to research new recipes and ideas. With this wheel, you will have about 90 categories leading to thousands of possibilities. It'll keep you going for months, by which time you're ready to repeat the category. Yet, the repeat can be a completely different dish or menu. And of course, who is to stop us from slotting in family requests and favorites as we go? I hope you will give this method a try in 2021 because it has been working great for us. Now get family members to help. In an insecure world, we can only keep our family secure and healthy. And doing things as a family is crucial. You live there as a family, so even though one person may be in charge, it is important to delegate and help so everyone appreciates the efforts involved in running a home and feels a sense of belonging. This section has also been included in the planner, so you can delegate chores to other members of the family, children included. At the minimum, the responsibility of keeping their own rooms clean and picking up after themselves should be encouraged. Now, tip nine is again an all new system that I'm sharing for 2021. Not many people have unlimited budgets. To keep things in your home stable is knowing that your bills are paid, fees and dues are settled, and there is enough to manage for food and other utilities. Teach your children to be accountable for their allowance, not because you need to know, but because they need to know their spending habits. This can be a simple page of income and all the expenses or a more complicated system using a spreadsheet, whatever works for your family. Now, tip 10 is to make it your resolution to create time for relationships and for yourself as an individual. Catch up virtually if necessary with family and friends. Learn new skills and get new hobbies. These days, there are many such portals online 
and I personally like Skillshare. You have hundreds of tutorials perfect for all ages, allowing you to learn new skills. You can take these classes online at Skillshare.com, which are taught by instructors and have their own class rosters. So get on Skillshare and learn how to do little things that make huge changes to your life. There are dozens of online courses that you can take, ranging from photography all the way to business development. Be sure to check for my referral link in the description after watching this video and you will never run out of new stuff because they are adding new videos frequently, uploading existing categories and adding new ones. Since I personally am not a business-minded person, I am doing some courses on business acumen. I enjoy learning at my own pace in my own space. Just remind yourself, spending time on yourself will replenish your energy. You deserve to be pampered. You need to be motivated so you can pass on positive habits to the family. I haven't made resolutions for many years, but this year I want to focus a little more on my health and enjoy spending quality time with my family. And these are the resolutions which are going to assist me in running my home on autopilot so I can make time for a more balanced and healthier lifestyle. I hope that these resolutions work for you or at least inspire you to create your own. I wish all of you a wonderful new year. And until the next video, this is Ravina saying happy homemaking.